สวัสดีค่ะ Good evening and welcome to our special edition of Thai PBS English News Service. I'm Rung Thip Chua Napa Lai. And I'm Suba Chuan Glin Suan, bringing you the latest updates of Thailand's worst flood in recent history. Now, Sa Thon District, Dr. Rung Thip, is where many head offices of many uh, multinational companies are located. Many six-star company, uh, six-star hotels, mm -hmm. many embassies. But believe it or not, just today, Sa Thon District is the latest downtown district that has been submerged after a water overflowed from the dikes in Jaran Kung 58. But the water, because it was on the level on the street, is about was about 20 centimeters high. Right. It's like maybe that. So you can still high. drive through. <laughs> <laughs> but Bangkok's west side has seen the brunt of the flood waters, mm. which we what now already underwater. Oh, that's where I live. Well, so how do you get here? How am I going to get back? Is the question. Mm. Well, but the knot is not doing so well in mm -hmm. Bangkhen district. Right. The problems are coming from three canals, Sapan Mai, Bangbu and Bangkhen canals, which are all overflowing. Sapan Mai is near the Royal Air, Air Force Base and Pumipon Hospital, just behind the Don Mung Airport. Now, today's high tide came at 5.17, and tomorrow is expected to be at 8.07 a.m. As well. Now, meanwhile, Bangkok Governor Mom Rajawong Sukum Panboripat reveals that residents living in the districts of La Prao, Chatuchak, Bung Thong Lang, Lak Rabang, Minburi, Nong Chok, and Klong Samwa should be on full alert as there have been signs of water overflowing the dikes. Now, earlier predictions that the entire west bank of the Chao River or Tonburi side will be totally submerged have been wrong since uh, Bang Plat and Tui Watana districts were the only two that are submerged. However, Kun Superjohn and the Flood Relief Operations Center has now moved its headquarter. Despite earlier statements from the Prime Minister two days ago that FROC is staying at Don Mueang. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Ying Lak Chinawas insists Bangkok's flood situation will settle next week. Here's what he had to say. And we also have the good, very good system of Bangkok. But Bangkok is the last destiny to the ocean, so that's why that uh, right now is that's a peak, and the worst is in Thailand. So hopefully next week we'll be uh, uh, starting uh, settle and we come back to normal soon. The Prime Minister, however, has not decided whether or not to expand the public holiday period. She says seawater gushing in from the Gulf of Thailand remains the most vulnerable factor. PM Ying Lak says electricity and waterworks is in the excuse me waterworks in the capital may be slightly affected, but an outage is not an option. Backup plans of drawing energy from power plants outside the metropolitan is on the way. The prime minister told the public through her radio address that domestic and foreign donations to the government has reached over 800 million baht. On top of helping fl flood victims, foreign tourists in Thailand will also be taken care of. This is uh, the, uh, during spend time in Thailand during the flooding. But please, please be confident in Thailand that after the water release, so we will cover Thailand land of smile soon. So we'll be at, uh, still be the place for a uh, welcome to all vis visitors to come to Thailand. However, the Prime Minister did not go into details on helping foreign tourists. The latest concern actually is, um, according to our expert from the, the director of Sirin Thorn International Environment, um, that it's uh, like the Bang Industrial Park. It's likely the next industrial site to be submerged, Kun But that's not too far from Suwanapum Airport. It's just it? next to each other. Right, so will the airport be affected in any way? Well, the location is not far from there, but uh, let's hear what the associate professor, Seri Suparatit, that um, he said that Suwanapum will be flood free. Oh, thank goodness. And yes. here's more with Kundari and Kong Akara. Thank you, Dr. Rung Thip and Superjohn. Uh, yes, the Suwanapum so Airport may be safe, but the industrial park, uh, like Grabang Industrial Park, may be very risky. So, could you please yes. explain what is the risk of the like Grabang Industrial Park now? Yes, uh, first of all, I would like to show you the uh, Bangkok flood system first. Yes. To make you very uh, understand of the system. This yes. is the drainage system for Eastern Bangkok. Yeah, uh, As you know that this flood situation is a 70 year return period flood yes so but the system that the flood protection system for bangkok is a 30 year return period that's yes. mean it's not enough to sustain that flood yes this flood. so it's very big yeah it's big yeah bigger than the, the protection system yes and that's why you have flood uh, everywhere so the system is like this we we'll expand to the eastern then uh, tomorrow maybe western part yes all the water coming from the north so we have a several canal yeah, several canal here yeah? and then 
this part of the canal will flow to, uh, uh, for example, main canal. Uh, this is the Langsit Onkalak Canal, Hokwa Sailang Canal, Sensep Canal here, yes. and then Pabret Burium Canal here. So up to down the sea. Okay. So each canal have limit capacity. Mm -hmm. So the amount of water flow from the north, we estimate that is about 150 cubic meter second. So, yes. but now we can pump out now to the sea is about 50 percent. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the, the left 50 percent is uh, seen on the canal, on the flood plain here, that flood Bangkok also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the most important thing that how to how to then how to divert all the water here to the more eastern part mm -hmm. to the floodway here yeah. that is an important thing so now the situation if we want to divert all is no problem mm -hmm. but the problem is that they have this thin yeah, in the in the Bangkok also have seen water mm -hmm. come to yeah, mm -hmm. come to this one uh, especially it went past the uh, Lakabang real estate yeah, yeah industrial then, park yeah industrial park and then also the suwanapum airport yeah suwanapum yeah. airport also so the big difference between the protection system of the black bank and suwanapum is that suwanapum airports have very high protection diet yes it's about 3.5 meter uh, msl yes yeah. and also the 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 pumping capacity of the pump is about 100 cubic meter per six mm -hmm. is really big as I told you the bottle come here is about 150 mm -hmm. this one can drain 100 yeah, CMS mm -hmm. right? so this is a big really big so for the Van Pum is no problem for flooding yes. and how so, about the Lakabang Industrial Park yeah for the Lakabang uh, because of uh, as you know Lakabang is located on really low area yes. and then the protection system the dieting also not so strong enough mm -hmm. right? so we worry about that on the water flood is the uh, overflow from the canal yeah mm -hmm. and then overflow from the canal beside and also overflow from the canal beside left hand side also so most three input here when when uh, I seen when inflow to the Lakabang. Mm. Yeah. That means it's very very risky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we worry about this thing also. So that, that we also uh, recommend to the government that, that if it's overflow like this, you have to move very quickly mm -hmm. the flow downstream yeah. in order to maintain the level of the water level here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is the one star G. So yes. the water can flow here past the Suvinapum airport yeah, and drain right. to the sea. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, yeah. Dr. Seri, for today. Yes. And maybe tomorrow we will explore the east part of Bangkok. So now back to you, Rung Tip and Super Chun. Thank you, Kath. Thank you, Kundarin right. and um, Dr. Seri. But um, the conference um, for the Thai, to invest in Thailand mm -hmm. now, Everything is up to the investing exactly. and also the foreign investor. Right. Now, uh, what we have been cleared about is that uh, Suwanapum Airport will still be able to operate. However, to access, to, in order to get to the airport, that's mm -hmm. another factor now. Well, right. But at least that we know that right. uh, Suwanapum Airport is flood free. For now. For now, well, and according to uh, John Seri's speculations, he has been right about the industrial estates of Rojana, High Tech, Nawanakorn, and even that water is going to Tamasai, which many people have denied his speculation. Mm -hmm. And now he was also right about Don Mueang. Keep in yes. mind, and now he's saying that Lakabang is the next target. Don Mueang is already moving. Meanwhile, the government's flood operation relief center has moved its headquarters from Don Mueang Airport to the energy complex building on Vipavati Rangsit Road. That is in Jadujak district of Bangkok, not far from, just right opposite the uh, central Lat Plow. Exactly. Yeah, there were quite ma uh, too many lights out going on, so they <laughs> decided to move. Now, however, during Prime Minister Ying Lakshinawat's weekly radio address, she announced that the government has launched three policies to help residents and businesses affected by the floods. The first is to provide financial assistance to build shelters for those who have led to evacuate. 5,000 baht will be given to each family who have homes that have been underwater for more than seven days. 325 billion baht, or around 10.8 billion US dollars, will be set aside to help small business owners. 
The second policy is to have the Bank of Agriculture provide 60 billion baht in loans. Farmers will be trained in other professions. And finally, there will be incentives for investors in the industrial sector. 9,800 factories are underwater in eight provinces. Investors will get tax exemptions. The Ministry of Commerce has been ordered to address the shortage of consumer goods and food. It's trying to find a distribution center that has not been flooded so food can be brought to Bangkok. Now everyone is worried about Lang food coming to Bangkok. Exactly. So, but um, lay, um, the largest distribution center for fresh food um, and vegetable is being protected from the flood water which is the Lat Thai. Thai, exactly, mm -hmm. which is located in Patum Thani, where water is at least a meter high. However, the market has built walls to protect itself, but just late this morning, the wall in the south has been breached. So it has been... But uh, the market just feeds uh, the people in mm -hmm. Bangkok. It has already uh, been prepared right. earlier um, before we come into the program. At um, 1.8 meter, a uh, wall has been built, but only big vehicles can thread through the, wa the water to get in. About 60,000 people sell goods in Talat Thai. And even though the market is being protected, the market executive is asking sellers to put their belongings on higher ground. The government and the Minister of Commerce must come up with a plan so the sellers are able to distribute food and goods. And coming up next is the, um, the tourism. We know that um, now Thailand has a lot of tourism exactly. each year, about maybe 15 million people coming in. Right, and not much are still in Bangkok. Not much, but there's still some. Right. So we sent our reporter, Kun Maninat, on Panna. She goes and she went to the Grand Palace mm -hmm. and here's what is, um, you know, her report, the seat. Thailand's worst flood in 50 years has yet touched the tourist industry, affecting historical sites and attractions. Thai PBS took a look around the west side of Bangkok and saw tourists walking around taking pictures of the fuss. Grand Palace is the highlight of Thailand. All tourists can't miss over here. But now we got effect from the flood situation, so make the tourists is decreasing. Just now, the governor has urged the people over here to evacuate as soon as possible. But we still see some people to get here for travel and look over here. Well, we came here because just for vacation. We already made, already made the reservations, and uh, well, we, the flood came in between, but we still went. It's a very beautiful country, so we didn't want to miss it. Okay. So, how do you feel for the flood situation in Thailand? I think the, yeah, it's, it's very sad for the people who live here, of course. Uh, for, for, for us tourists, it's very easy because there's not a lot of water. It's the first time we see water, actually. Why are you to say something to cheer up for the flood victim who are watching on the television? So, please say. Yeah, good luck with everything and hopefully it will be better. And yeah, good luck, good luck. The Zopraya River has overflowed and inundated Maharat and Prajan Piers. This is about 500 meters from the Grand Paris Gauss. This area has been affected by the flood for a week. The water is rising too fast, so small cars cannot get through. So businesses are rushing customers. This woman said that she couldn't sell for five days with the water rising. Usually she is about to sell every day. Although this year has been the worst flood in decades for Thailand, it may also be a lesson for Thais and this experience has made them stronger and more prepared for any future crisis. This is Mini Nat on Panna, reporting for Thai PBS. So according to the government, within three or four days from now, the water in Bangkok might recede a bit. But in some area, but especially in the inner Bangkok, mm -hmm. so wash out. Inner Bangkok still dry, right. pretty much dry, right? right? But the State Railway of Thailand has resumed service to the north and the south. Trains to the north have changed their route to avoid the flood between Donmeng and Ayutthaya. The train will divert east towards um, Chacheng Sao province and Gang Hoi. The detour will add about an hour or two to the trip. For those going south, the trains in Suratani, Sungai Kolok, Yala, Trang, and Butterworth in Penang are still operating, but passengers will be transferred by bus to Nakhon Patom. All trains from the south will depart from there. 
Passengers who want to cancel or refund their tickets from today to Monday are welcome to a full refund. Just go to the train station or dial 1690. It's available 24 hours a day and there are English speakers there to help as well. Well, you can dial 1690 and try to wait for a few minutes because now a lot of people are calling. Yes. Okay, if you miss Thai PBS English News, you can visit our website, worldwidewebthaipbs.or.th slash flood 54 en Right, and that wraps up tonight's edition of English News Service broadcasting live here from Thai PBS. I'm Super John Green Suwan. I'm Rung Tip Chuan Sadi